millennials. <laughs> They're out for a nighttime bike ride together with a little boombox action. Hey guys, I'm watching my kids robot battle this morning out in Virginia. Uh, listen, I've gotten a lot of emails from you guys, a lot of messages saying, what is that shiny orb, that shiny light, that ball of light that appears above the White House every night on the White House webcam? Now, as a photographer kind of guy, I have a really good idea what it is. I have a pretty darn good idea what it is. But that's not what my channel is about. My channel is about showing you. So I tell you what, we're going to go down to the White House tonight. I'm going to take my iPhone and I'm going to take my big professional grade camera and I'm going to show you what's above the White House at night. And hopefully you have a better understanding of why you see a little ball of light on the White House webcam. So guys, I'm in Black Lives Matter Plaza and the White House webcam is actually, I believe it's just up on that building because you can see the church dome and you can see that in the White House webcam. We're looking out over the White House and you can see some of the light digital artifacts that are coming off the street lights in the background. I can make them go right, I can make them go left, I can make them go up and down. This is a function of the iPhone's rather limited lens. Let's zoom in above the White House. Oh, look at all those artifacts we've got. Ooh, look at that. It's like, it's like close encounters with that. This is with the iPhone, of course. Let's switch over to the big camera. So here we are with the big camera and not much in the sky. So the White House webcam, I think that's it. I think that's it right there, yeah? Let's zoom in. That must be it. So now guys, we're in front of Lafayette Park by Andrew Jackson. You can see above the White House, there's a couple of light reflections. I can make them move around, down, up, right, left. Those are the digital artifacts probably from these street lights right there. If I shoot straight on into the light, I can get rid of those reflections. But in the sky above, it's pretty quiet, yeah? There's not much there. Not on this camera, let's switch over. Now we're shooting with a smaller lens. The sky is pretty black behind the White House, as you can see. No distortion from this Sony lens. Not like the iPhone. So here we are with the iPhone. You see those two bright lights there? One, two, and then I have the reflection that comes up in the sky behind it. Ooh. Go the other way. So there's a good view of the sky. There's no glowing orange, orange orb with this camera. Just so here we are shooting with the Sony. The sky is, well, there's some clouds, but uh, no glowing orange circle. Now back here we've got the reflection of those two bright lights there. You see those two lights? And they cast a reflection, uh, a digital artifact, which is the light bouncing off the back of the lens and then out the other side. And you can see I can move it around, swirly, or I go this way. And that's a reflection of these two lights in the back of this relatively cheap iPhone's camera. We won't see this in the Sony though. So here you see the much higher resolution, higher quality camera, the Sony, and there there's no, uh, there's no reflection from those two lights. No lens flare and no ghosting, but up there there's just the sky. And now guys we're on Meridian Hill Park and you can see, you can see the lights coming up the road. All these cars are creating little lights that are flashing and if i bend my phone a bit there it goes up that way there it goes that way the white house is about a mile away down that direction yeah it's just about too far to see and above it well there's a street light but not much else let me get the other camera now this is the view with the other camera uh not as many reflections still got a few lens flares though you can see though above the white house pretty much all there is is the reflection and lens flares from the cars. Okay, so what is the orange light over the White House? Well, it looks like a lens flare. It looks a lot like a digital artifact, something that uh, pops up in digital cameras when you shoot into a light source. Now, the White House webcam, as I showed you, is really high up. It shoots over Lafayette Park, and there's dozens of street lights. There's the work lights at the White House, 
and it's likely that one of those bright lights is reflecting something back into the camera. If you look at the pictures of the webcam, look around the lights, you see a lot of little weird orange glows in random places in the park, for example. Now, is it for certain? I don't know. I don't have access to that camera. I don't know what kind of camera it is. I don't know what it's shooting at, what angle it's set at. But as I demonstrated with my iPhone, it's pretty easy to get lens flares down there and other little things that pop up in the phone. Now, the iPhone is notorious for nighttime getting those little green dots. Don't get me started. It's just absolutely annoying. The Sony was a little bit better, but even it suffered occasionally. Uh, some of those lights were very bright. So. Anyway, I did show you guys the sky. The sky is black. I didn't see anything in the sky with the naked eye. And I think if you guys look at the Sony, which was the higher end, you won't see anything either. But feel free to go back and check out the video. I'll keep watching. If something exciting happens, I'll let you know. So a lot of you have been watching my videos and noted it looks very, very quiet in Washington, D.C. With the government still at work from home, private sector businesses work from home, no tourists in town, it is pretty quiet, but what's it like for the Washingtonians? What are they doing on the weekends? Are they going out in their neighborhoods? I decided to drive through several of the more popular neighborhoods in Washington and show you what life was like on a Saturday night so you guys can see for yourself. Is Washington a ghost town or are there people out running around? Let's take a look. There's a few people out. Some of these restaurants are open for the outdoor dining, some are open only indoors, and some, some are closed and just carry out. I will say this, the traffic is annoying. This place is pretty crowded. This little booth on my left is full. This one is empty. This one is empty. The next one has one or two people. So, get a bit of traffic. A lot of Uber drivers making their pickups. Uber Eats and Instacart or whatever. Now this place is looks pretty busy on the left. Pedestrian right away. I'm gonna stop. What is this guy doing? <laughs> That's kind of funky. Quite a few people eating here. Big flaming torches. So this is 14th and U. This is the new up-and-coming neighborhood, 14th Street. It's uh, not bustling, but a few people are out. I think we're in the retail section to find some restaurants. We are, though, in a bit of traffic. There's definitely some cars out today. That's a taxi. He does weird things because he's a taxi. Uh, here we go. You can see inside it's actually very crowded right now. There's nobody eating outdoors, but the restaurant's pretty packed on the inside. There's a legally parked car from Pennsylvania. Guy 
is turning. We're kind of like weaving our way through traffic here. Thank you. Bunch of kids out riding around, pulling wheelies. Later they'll be doing that on like dirt bikes when they get older. All right, let's go into Chinatown and see what's up. Not much. I don't think there's a game tonight. But I do see a few police cars. It's usually a sign there or something. But nobody's running around in like hockey jerseys. Yep, pretty darn quiet. I think there might be some sort of sporting event, like Georgetown basketball or something. I'm not sure. Because there are quite a few police out. But otherwise, it's pretty dead down here. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look in Georgetown, yeah? Because I know a lot of you think that's what's happening. There's like a line to get in over there. I don't even know what restaurant it is. Graham? But they're lined up out the door. Let's go up onto M Street. Georgetown is but a shell of what it once was. In the 1980s and 90s, Georgetown ruled Washington, D.C. for social life, parties, exciting restaurants, everything. After 2001, 9 11, Georgetown it just started to go downhill. Um, other neighborhoods in the city became more popular. I mean, here we are at Wisconsin and M on a Saturday night at 8.44, and we're all alone, yeah? It's pretty darn dead here in Georgetown. This is not just COVID. Um, this is just what's happened to Georgetown in the last 20 years. It is no longer the trendy neighborhood of Washington, D.C. It's still really, really expensive, but it's, it's not the place to be seen or be seen. Be or be seen. All right, guys, that's Washington, D.C. on a Saturday night. That's what's over the White House webcam. Like I said, show, not tell. That's what I'm trying to do here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back this week. We've got helicopters. Who knows what else we got coming up? All right, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.